Oh, hello there. Welcome to another night of me playing Serlem Ultimate. Um, I have no idea where I left off because I haven't played it in a couple weeks. And let's just take a look here. It looks like we were playing Druid last. Um, don't really know exactly what we were doing. Take a look here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I kind of remember this team now a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This guy was our main striker. He's got overkill marked with blood. Sort of will, pummel. Yeah, I haven't played in like... It's been over two weeks now. Uh, the new Path of Exile League started, and I've been playing that pretty much as whenever I get a chance. Um, might even play a little bit of that here tonight, too. We'll see. Um, I was also playing that uh, Vampire Survivors game. I don't know if any of you have checked that out, but if you haven't, um, it's the best $3 you can spend on Steam. Uh, it's, fuck, it's so much fun. Um, it's like a roguelike shoot them up but um you're the one that's doing all the shooting instead of uh the alien or whatever you're fighting on a, a regular shmup game um yeah this is you basically shooting out projectiles and it just gets really crazy it's really fun i highly recommend checking it out um i did record a video for it but uh, i kind of got screwed up so i might i might stream it again or play it again and uh do another video for it just because it's it's really good i think more people should try it out um but yeah back to serolim here um at the end of a creature's turn is their turn counter okay yeah so this guy is increasing all of our stuff we are still playing druid right yes oh yeah i have the bugged ancestry <laughs> uh i figured this out before um basically so I get four random traits for each of my creatures. So, um, what is it here? And this is a bug. Like, it's been fixed uh, since then because it's way overpowered, I think. So, they, they toned it down so that you can only get two extra traits. But I mine is bugged. I'm, like, grandfathered in here on this because I picked Druid before they fixed it. And apparently, it doesn't retroactively go and fix these. So, anyway... Um, f for this guy, uh, sh I can't show you him. Okay, so for this apocalypse, he's basically going to get four other apocalypse traits at random at the beginning of the battle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he gets a lot of Harbinger. Um, same with the rest of these guys. This guy, uh, pushes everybody back on the timeline. Um... This guy makes everybody stronger, and this guy just increases all of our turns um, by a bunch. And reduces the damage to these two guys by 50%. Oh, and he's also an avatar, so he gets four extra avatar traits, <laughs> which is just broken as shit. Um, and I could probably fix the bug by just undoing my perks and then reapplying them, but what's the fun in that, right? <laughs> see, you can see it says four, four out of two. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, it says you have at least five creatures missing from your group, but I have two missing, and then I also get a plus three from this companion one, so um, that brings us up to five, which gives us the four extra traits. Um, but yeah, I think this, this team was doing pretty good, I think, if I remember correctly. Let's try a We'll try the highest level on instability five and see how it does. I don't I don't really remember how if I was doing instability fives or what. Um yeah, he's got a got a good good amount of health. Looks like we're macroing everything, so Okay. Um I don't know what I was doing with this guy. It doesn't have any spells. I think I was just probably defending or provoking with him. Um, 
same with this guy. I don't think I really even optimized this build much at all. It seems like. This guy just attacks. Yeah. The brownie just basically cleaves everything down, I think, is the main idea. Um, let's, what's in here? Let's go kill this thing. Um, oh, what are these guys? I don't have any spells. <laughs> what the fuck? So we're already, every turn that my guys take is actually like four turns. So, this guy can, okay, he's got a, uh, enemies take a large amount of damage, lose a massive amount of defense and speed. Okay, sure. Um, so now we're, this, like, everybody's at eight turns, we've only taken two turns. And then the apocalypse is, of course, is like boosting all of our stats for every turn that we've taken. So I think by the time we get to eight turns, like, it's, there's, probably no way for them to even kill us short of some really crazy mechanics yeah so we don't it's not like a super fast build doesn't just instantly kill the entire team but um if i last for a couple turns it's basically game over this is uh, uh what do they call these ones um Oh, it's a Death Walker. What the hell? That's a weird skin. I wonder if that's like a special skin. Inherit the Earth. Enemies always have scorned. This debuff switches back and forth. It's starting each creature at this creature's turn. And we can only attack once per turn. Oh. Yeah, that kind of sucks for my build. But eventually we just get so many stats. Like, what's his stats at now? His attack's at 450k. That's pretty high. Well, this guy's got defense. He's defense too. This guy's just got a ton of health. <laughs> okay. I think this, uh, only being able to attack once is kind of screwing us over a bit. It's funny, every time I like try to like showcase whatever build I was using, it's like I always run into a group that's just like complete anti whatever the hell my build is, and then it just like doesn't look that fast. <laughs> but I think I was actually flying through fights on this build pretty well. And now he's getting all the all the extra attacks and he's just crushing them. Oh, that was another boss, I think. Was that another boss? Uh, yep. Okay, that was a pretty easy nether boss, actually. <laughs> oh, they're killing my guys, and they're all back. I forget what our resurrection mechanic is in this build, but I think it's actually maybe part of the druids kit, where it's just like you get a free revival or something. Boom. A lot of the times the brownie will get uh, the brownie trait where he does like a whole bunch more damage, but he kills himself after he attacks or something like that. So he dies a lot, which is kind of annoying. And I think I was actually thinking about changing him to a different race just because of that. Because we could get like, we could do like centaurs or something that also gets a lot of attacks. But I've already boosted this um, brownie's you can see you can see the little scroll thing beside his attack that means i've put 15 attack scrolls on him so i've got a bit invested in him already yeah this is uh instability 5 so i mean on the highest realm depth that i can do so i mean this is this is a pretty good build 
better than a lot of the ones I've made. You know, I would say this is looking better than the Necromancer build, to be honest. It might not be as, like, stat strong, but uh, it's faster, for sure. Necro was getting pretty slow at the end. They killed our tanky guy. Let's just take a look at the battle history there. I'm still cracking. Oh yeah, Blade Masters in Spectral Swords. Do do do. What else? The <laughs> uh, enemy teams just getting sent to the bottom of the timeline over and over. Uh, There's a lot of attacking and dodging and defending. I didn't even... There's just so many things triggering that it's like hard to even see what's going on. Should we fight this Rodian master? Ghoul. It's Ghoul Master. Boom. Hopefully my mic is loud enough this time. Um, somebody was saying that uh, it was a little bit quiet before. I boosted it a little bit, so I did t I did test it out. I did a little test before I started the recording, so I think it's good. Um, but if I'm still too low, just let me know in the comments or something. Oh, oh what is that? S Rarity 6? Is that right? I guess. That's weird. It's weird that it doesn't show the full... Oh, 66. Okay, it got cut off a little bit for some reason. Huh. It's kind of whatever. Not really anything special. What does is, what is Pyre do again? Uh, deal 75% and inflicts it with burning. Yeah, it's okay. I haven't really got any like super insane nether stones like I've seen some people get. Like, I think somebody posted one that had like three traits on it or something ridiculous. But I guess maybe once you get to the even lower depths, you see a lot more of them. Get some real broken nether stones. Gambler's Hive? Uh, I forget. I think it was Shal. No, not Shalon. Alexandria, maybe? Oh, it's Reclusa. Oh, I thought Reclusa was one of the original gods. Boom, 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 boom. I wonder how I did with uh, bounty. Do I have a bounty right now? I do. On 5.33, I gotta get to. Which one are we on right now? 5.30. We got three more to go. We'll do a bounty, and then uh, maybe I'll swap over to another game. I'll probably uh, make this its own video, just to keep them separate. But uh, I'll probably play some play some Path of Exile or maybe that uh, Vampire Survivor for a little bit later. Um, I gotta get some supper here too because I just got back from work. Doo -doo -doo. Sometimes I don't even like explore the realm. Once I finish the objective I'll just go straight to the next one. <laughs> uh, reflect damage. That might be a little bit dicey. Let's, we'll see.
Uh, Torrance Realm. Oh, I can't hit these guys or what? They have dodge? Oh, s no. I have less dodge. Uh, they have always crit, more damage dealt. Ch oh, there it is. Chance to dodge 77%, of course. Alright. That's going to be a pain in the ass. There we go. Whatever we did there worked. <laughs> What do we have to do here? Carns found. Is it Carns or Cairns? I think it's Carns. Well, he just popped off on them all. All right. I still gotta make like a spellcaster build. I've s never really done that. All of, all my builds pretty much have been melee or like summoners. I, sometimes I'll have like one caster on the team that just does something, but I've never done like a full on caster build with one of the um, like I think Archmage is one, and like I don't know the other specializations that are caster based. Where are these guys? Oh, shades. A pack of angry looking creatures. <laughs> this is a risk. They do look angry. I don't even know what these things look like that I'm collecting. Apparently I've gotten four of them already. Man, this build's like flying through these fights, really. On instability five, like, just crushing. Um, if anybody's interested in the build too, just let me know in the comments. I can upload uh, the team if you want. I think I did that for one of my teams. I don't know if it was this one. Or I said I was going to and I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> one of the videos, I'm pretty sure I put it in the in the description maybe. Man, these guys are tough to kill. Right when I say that, they just all die. Okay. Oh, that was the troll master, or whatever. Uh, UA 
too much fruit and barfed it all up. That's basically what it says. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's okay. It's the gray rocks, I guess. Uh, oh, we got training done. This was realm 131. I guess we'll go turn that in and get the training. Whatever they are, certificates, I don't know. <laughs> scrolls, that's what they are, yeah. Scrolls. Uh, have I put any health scrolls on anyone? No. I think this guy's really, really the only person I've put scrolls on of any kind. This guy's got a lot of health. 84,000 base. Damn. Um, is there anything else that we need to do? I remember I was playing a lot of arena there last time I was playing. Uh, what are our prophecies? Oh, defeat a false god. Okay. And summon candles. We're almost done this one. Yeah, we might as well finish that up. Okay, what do we have here? Less damage, less stat loss. Uh, yeah, it doesn't sound bad. So the realm realm properties are what makes me think of uh, Path of Exile whenever I play this. This is like, I call this like the Pokemon Path of Exile game. Because <laughs> the end game feels a lot similar to it kind of realms are like maps um you have like an almost infinite amount of builds that you can do although i would say there's all there's more builds in this game than in path of exile just when it comes to but there's not a there's not as nearly as many people play this game so there's no like meta really it's basically a single player game, right? So people post their builds, but there's no like meta build that people are using. Whereas in PoE, there is. I'm using one right now, actually, for this league. But yeah, if you play one game or the other, I suggest you play both because <laughs> they're great. Oh, we're done the realm quest already. Well, let's see what this guy has. Oh, it's just a fight. Well, these guys are weak as hell. Even the apocalypse killed some something. They don't have yeah, they have no extra health or defense, that's why. So they're just getting wrecked. <laughs> Um, I should probably do the candle fights, so. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of resources, like 600 from that one turn in thing. <laughs> oh man, love that. Okay, this build is pretty fast actually. <laughs> Sometimes. When it's not face facing a uh, super high defense. Some people didn't like Druid. I don't know, I think it's freaking OP as hell. Anything that's like stronger than my Necro build, I'm like, yeah, this is a good build. Some guy posted in the uh, Serlim Reddit, like a build that like is some kind of insane cleric build where he was getting like <laughs> like a million times a million health, <laughs> like like just insane amounts. He was like posting a screenshot, like it 
it won't even show the amount of health you have because it's like uh, too many numerals. <laughs> Oh, we got a treasure golem. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they all get mad at you whenever you kill one. And there's then like an achievement for like letting it live too. I'm not sure how you do that if you just like have to defend until it runs away or what. I have like my loot filter. Also another uh, thing that it has in common with Path of Exile is a loot filter. Um, my loot filter on this game is uh, basically on the strictest setting right now. So the only things that I that actually pop up for me are nether stones and cards, I think, are the only other thing. Yeah, everything else is just like, it'll pop up on the left like you see right there, but it doesn't like pop up, pop up like uh, it will if you don't have it set to that. Um, where's the candle? Did I miss it? Oh, it's right here. Uh, what do we want to do? These guys are good because they, uh, I think the card that they give you increases the amount of uh, brimstone that you get. So maybe we'll do that. I gotta do like 16 of these fights to get the prophecy. I kind of, I don't really like this prophecy doing I don't really like doing the candle because it's just like grindy shitty ness <laughs> it's kind of annoying I don't like the, me the candle mechanic at all in this game it's probably my least one of my least favorite things it's like oh you want to fight this specific monster okay you can summon him and just fight him over and over again hopefully you can kill him fast Everybody's dying there. Uh. Hmm. Yawning already. These are the realms that you want to do this quest on, though. Anything where you can kill stuff, like, quickly, that's when you want to do this prophecy. You want to do it on, like, a realm where all the enemies have, like, 200% health and defense. All right. Oh, oops. I just got <laughs> I did the wrong one. I got the one that I already have a card for. Oopsie. These are insanely easy to kill. I think uh, our next level is the false god, I think. Oh, they stole all of our buffs and gave them to themselves.
one just like disappeared off my list. Hmm. Weird. I don't know why I did that. Oh, we're done the prophecy. Yay. All right. Let's go see if we can do the false god, I guess. Oh, boy. Instability five, sure, it was fucking dried up. <laughs> see if, pretty quickly if we can do it or not. I'm pretty sure I did an instability five false god on this group, but I don't know. Maybe I might be delusional. Wait, is that a... What is this gate for? Oh! Hell yeah. Bunch of free favor. Valves grant a buff now? Oh shit! That's really good. Mm, what is this one? 50% more intelligence. <clears throat> Let's do the 10% health one because that's 50% more rewards. And Usually you don't do more than 10% damage, I would say, anyways. At least not until your guys are like buffed us like to an insane amount. Fifty percent more speed. I don't reduce stats, so that one's like a freebie as well. It's really nice. Um, I don't really need that right now. Oh man, that buff is nice. Man, I'm gonna have so many buffs. I don't think you get to keep them for the um, the big fight though. The false god fight. I don't think you get to keep the realm buffs. Like I figured that out already once. Um, immune to spell damage? Yeah, sure. 50% more? Hell yeah. I, I don't even know what classes um, our anointments are going to be for. Hopefully I picked a good one for this build. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we got splashing, we got agile. Direct damage? Nah. Um, let's just do that one. We got enough like fifty percenters that we're we're looking good on our rewards, I think. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. Thirty percent less damage. Uh, sure. Ooh, blighted on enemies is nice. That one didn't give me a buff. Do I have like all the buffs already or something? He's just instantly killing everything. It's awesome. Oh, there's the portal. All right, let's do this. Let's fucking do this. Oh, it's Imp Imping Imp Impington.
He is getting a lot of attacks. Holy hell. Alright. They're almost all confused now. Just don't instant kill me. Perfect. Alright, we're already at eight turns on these guys, so it's looking pretty good. Ah, don't forfeit. Oh, nice. Nice. Die imp imping ten. These things have so much health at this level, it's like, it's crazy how much health they have, like 100 to 200 million health. <laughs> uh oh, we gotta get keep them confused here. Okay, the head's dead now, nice. And two of the three are confused, so that's good. Oh. All right. Hell yeah. Imp Impington is a little bitch. Nice, nice. We did it, yo. Wasn't that my uh, prophecy, though, to kill a, a false god? Uh, what is mirror image? Creatures have a 25% chance to cast spells an additional time. Oh. <laughs> but I never cast spells. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What do we get here? the moment we've waited for. Familiarity, your creatures take 50% less damage from creatures that belong to their own class. Is this a uh, tribalist stuff? I think it is, hey? Each creature that belongs to the same race. Uh, increase your creature's max stat limits before they are subjected to diminishing turns by 100%. That's pretty good. Uh, your creatures have 5% more for each same race fighting on your side. Yeah, your creatures have 10% chance to attack an additional time for each creature missing from your group. Uh, that's from... Is this a druid one? I think so. Yeah, it has to be. Sidestep. If your creature speed is greater than 200% of the base, they're resistant to debuffs. That's pretty good. Enemies can only attack and cast spells once at a time. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's really, really good. Shit. I might be taking that one. Um, your creatures take 10% less damage for each creature missing from your group. Okay, that's a druid one that I already have. Creatures have one additional spell gem for each creature missing. Velocity. They use 30% speed instead of attacker intelligence. And we are pack. At start of battle, if you have at least four creatures that belong to the same race fighting on your side, the remaining creatures' races are changed to that race as well. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, that's a pretty good one too. But I, th that's a tribalist one for sure. Um, I think we take Singleton though. Singleton just sounds broken for like almost any build. It's really, really good. Um, what was the other good one? Uh, increases your creature's max stats. That one's pretty good too. That's like also good in just about every build. The other ones are pretty specific. Uh, yeah, I think we'll take Singleton. Singleton, really good. Really, really good. We're in reputation level 51 with the Death Guild now. Can I have another one? <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Quest completed. Oh, we got a card. Nice. Hell yeah, free card. Um, do we want to fight that guy? Sure. Tox Dweller. Oh uh, yeah, I was using these guys in my bomber build there a little while ago. Build didn't work out as good as I'd hoped it would. We found out that the bombs just don't scale well enough. At least the build I made anyway, I don't know if there's some like super OP box dweller build out there, but the bombs just didn't seem strong enough. Um, Alright, I think we're done with this level. Okay, so do we still have a prophecy? Yeah, what is this? Defeat a false god. Oh, I have to do a specific one. Uh... That is lame. I didn't pick that guy. So now I would have to do like another five realms or whatever it takes to get to the next one. Shitty. Super shitty. Um, I wonder if there's anything new at the Death Guild. Yo, you got anything new? What is this? Essence of Death Shiny. I think we had that before. Um, I don't know. I don't think any of this is new shit. Oh, this is new though. Treasure chest. I wonder what's inside. We have 1.2 million. Let's buy one see what's inside of it. We got the large one. Okay. It just gives you a bunch of resources and some gems and stuff. Nothing really super cool, though. There's no cards or anything from what I see. Yeah. I wonder if you can get cards and I don't even really see any trait materials here. Is there? Okay, this one. This is one, yeah. Not that much, though. Alright. That was interesting. Uh, look at this thing. Tribute of Death. All right, uh, I think that's about it for tonight for Siralum Ultimate. Um, probably play some more though here tomorrow night. I'm gonna save this and uh, I'll upload tonight's video here. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna go get some food, maybe play some Path of Exile, and uh, I might make another make a video for that. We'll see. All right, I will talk to you later. Peace.